Hi, Eric's here with uh, another health and wellness ER video. Uh, this time it's health and wellness for your dog or cat. Uh, this is kind of a mixture of both, but mainly for my dog. Um, so she eats raw. Uh, she's been she's six and she's been eating that way her, her whole life. Um, so I just wanted to show everybody a typical meal of what Blue eats. So I already have it broken down and set up for you right here. So pretty much we have three quarters of a cup of um, ground beef. This one is grass fed and grass finished. Um, beef heart. This is about 25 grams. Um, beef liver. This is about 20 grams. Um, carrots. I think it's about 15, 20 grams too. And then blueberries. Um, I have about 10 to 12 grams. And then these are um, sprouts. Uh, sometimes I give uh, spinach, sometimes I give arugula, sometimes I give um, cabbage. This is a, um, a microgreen sprout that has a variety. Um, and it's, it's, it's really good. It's a, it's a really, really highly nutritious uh, part of the diet for your uh, dog if you're gonna be feeding it this way. And then also um, I have some bone marrow right here. Um, and then to that, I just added digestive enzyme and some bone meal powder. And then that's, um, that's a complete meal for her. I'll show you. So basically what I do is, is I just take this, I put it in a bowl. Take this one. Bone meal is half a teaspoon, which is about 800 milligrams. And for her weight, that's perfect per day. Um, and then I add water to it to make it uh, not like a paste, you'll see, more of like a soup. So this is a bottle, so she probably got a little more than half a bottle. Just take it in here like this. Mix it up real good. And then I add a couple special ingredients, which are Find it. Fish oil. There we go. She gets a serving of fish oil. Don't lose it. You have and it. You got it. You're losing a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Sit. Just a dash. Helps with their coat and all the good oils and fats. She looks great. Along with the um, the bone marrow, gets their skin and their coat looking so good. And this is all real food. There is not a filler. This is all 100% nutritious food for your dog. Not some dried cereal that then they have to gorge on water after because there's no nutrients in there that they're basically eating corn. Um, so I would give this a try, you'll see. If you try it, just the, the, the vitality of your dog, just the look of your dog will change and you'll notice. All right, now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you don't have time to do this every day for your dog, right? a lot but here's what here's the system there's always a system so Eric will show you and I always assist him I always assist him on the system um, how he gets this done we do it about once a month or how often do we do it well, three three weeks to a month three or four weeks every three it four depends weeks, on uh... we have to go grocery shopping and do this but we're gonna show you what we do takes do you think it takes maybe an hour or less, less? I would say I would say 
30 minutes to we'll 45 take, minutes. I would, I would agree. So in 30 to 45 minutes, once a month, you can do this for your animal and be set up for like three to four weeks and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy because all you have to do is add the vegetables and the stuff to what's already made. Okay. So let me so show you. So this is our setup. I already did some prep work here so you could see. So this is the ground beef. Um, here's turkey because I also feed my cats raw and the cat and blue would eat turkey too. And sometimes I give different proteins or half, half beef, half turkey, sometimes others. Um, but the cats really, really love turkey. Um, here I have the beef heart uh, chopped up and then this is beef liver. Um, sometimes we get chicken liver. Um, sometimes we get um, um, we pork have, heart. Sometimes we but, get kidneys sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we get also we get beef kidneys inside. Um, and then this is beef marrow bones. These things are great uh, to give for a snack for your dog. I love to give blue the uh, snacks of this. It makes it makes their coat and their eyes and their nose gleam. Like like the the health difference, you you'll feel it. This stuff here, I and mean, I always say it's like the bones of our enemies. Um, but it's it, it's for the small investment and for how much uh, bad treats cost. Um, you can you can give stuff like this to your animal. Meaning unhealthy treats. Yeah. But also, we're not giving her the bone. We're giving her the yeah. actual marrow pieces. Yeah. People treat. people do give the bone. Um, I don't I don't like to because I, I think it could cause impactions. Break um, their teeth. Break their teeth. Um, like um, um, turkey neck bones, I think are okay. Um, I don't like chicken wings. They have very sharp bones. Now, as long as they're not cooked. Um, it's up to you if you if you know how you want to do it. I don't feel comfortable uh, giving it, so that's why I give the bone meal. But this is this is just this is all just really good stuff for your for your dogs or, or animals in general. And you treat blue. Okay. I'll set this up real quick. Okay, so now it's time to put together the packages. So I'll show you how we do it and what we store them in um, and how we take them out over the course of the month to stay fresh. Um, this, is, this, is, this is the easiest way i found to do it for me. Um, I do have a background in culinary, so it just makes sense for me to do it this way. But, um, you know, do it however you like, but this way is, it makes it easier for me. So I have a predetermined size of cup that I know she needs. And it's three quarters of a cup here, but it's not packed tight. It's like a, a loose three quarters. Um, so basically, I just, I get the meat, I put it in here, I don't pack it tight, like that, boom, here. Same thing, boom, here. Okay, and then when I get all the meat here, what I do is, I take a Ziploc bag. Now I've used everything. I've used Tupperwares. I've used um, um, no, you know just wrapping in Saran wrap. Ziploc bags is by far um, the easiest, and I think best application for this process. The Tupperwares are good too, but you know you lose the tops, you break them. You need 30 Tupperwares. These store much easier. So it's the ground beef, then the liver. Then with these, because I know the weight is about three to four pieces. So now these pieces, this piece is a little bit larger, so it's three. Bam, that's one. So then this goes on the side, just like this. And then I'll continue on until I have all the packages like this. Um, and by the way, this is food for the cats. The cats have less greens because cats are very carnivore, you know, carnivorous. Um, so they get the beef liver, uh, beef heart and turkey and you know this is a meal for each of them and they just love it i have one cat that most cats if you do research on cats if you offer them organ and meat they will eat the most nutritious of the food they have so i have one cat that's really instinctual so he always eats all his organs i have the other cat who's who's a little bit of a special cat um, he, you know, he loves the dry food and then he, he eats this, but then when he eats this food, he has so much energy and he's so healthy and he, and you can just see a difference in him that it's, 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 he know he eats it because he knows, but he really likes the, he really likes the dry, bad food we say.
When, when putting these away in the bags is, is just take it and like you're doing a burrito or something and just push out all the air. That's basically what this is, is just pushing out all the air. And then the easiest way is just to, boom. Now you have an airtight seal. The, the, the meat won't oxidize as easily. You don't need a vacuum sealer. And you've done basically the same thing for less. And this is our setup of meat. So let's see, let's see what we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, plus blue 8 today, so 28, and then I have four packages for treats and uh, snacks, or if she does a good girl, uh, bone marrow, and a little bit of extra heart and liver uh, about it but that's always good for spares and that's as easy as it is to make your dog or cat any kind of healthy um, food that you can feel good about um, because just um, I, I would sincerely like you to rethink feeding your dog dry kibble um, and looking at the first ingredient or even if it, the first ingredient is some type of meal you know, it's still, it's still, it's still not real food. It's still not, it's real food, but it's not real food. You know, you're giving your dog, you know, it's not even in the refrigerator. You leave the bag open over there. Just, you know, just think about it. And if you really care for your animals, try uh, feeding them stuff that, that is actually good for them. Okay, so once you have the packages made up, um, I come to the freezer and Sure, everyone has this door. We just stack them in this door very nicely.
<laughs> Close up. This always makes me very happy once I've completed this task um, because I know the benefit for the animals. for their dinner and then you know we set up the greens and the and the vegetables and you know uh, everything else that we put in there and then in the morning I'll show you what we do with her also uh, we have some some protocols that we do with um, with blue in the morning too um, and that's it but um, I hope they found this very informative and it's not that difficult to do guys I know it it, 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 it can look uh, daunting but um, really once you start once you start doing it just the 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 benefit that you'll feel from giving your animals uh, this quality food is would is gonna is gonna drive you to do it I guess no problem and I, I also bet I don't know what those uh, raw dog foods cost anymore but um, I would will I'd be willing to bet if we did a video in the future like dollar for dollar what they're what you're getting for a portion of like an average sized dog or something you know, like we do blues weight on that, what it would cost us versus this a month. I bet, I bet we save money too. Yeah, um, that's another video I'm gonna make is the cost of this. But this this cost, basically blue has a month's worth of food and it cost us less than $75. And it's organic, grass fed, grass finished, all healthy. So food. she has a month of food for less than $75. So, all right, well. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.